The euro trimmed gains made amid the Fed's meeting. The European currency came under pressure from the ECB's policy decision. The regulator raised its key interest rate by 50 basis points, as widely expected. ECB President Christine Lagarde signaled at least one more hike of the same magnitude next month, reaffirming the central bank would stay the course in the fight against high inflation despite signs of its cooling. However, financial markets immediately interpreted the move as suggesting the tightening cycle might end soon. Investors believe that the European Central Bank will follow the US Federal Reserve and take a softer stance moving to a slower pace of increases at the next meeting. Against this background, the euro returned to the level of 1.0900. The British pound also saw a major sell-off yesterday. The Bank of England raised interest rates on Thursday, but dropped a pledge to keep increasing them forcefully if needed. The bank said that inflation had probably peaked and predicted that consumer prices would fall towards the end of the year. This forced the pound sterling to break out of the sideways range and enter a downward correction. As for today's macroeconomic calendar, it includes composite and services purchasing managers indices for Germany and the euro area. The indicators are expected to rise above the 50 reading, indicating expansion in activity. This could support the European currency, enabling it to recover from yesterday's drop or at least halt its slide. Likewise, the UK will release data on services activity. However, the UK PMI numbers are expected to slump further. In this case, the British pound will extend losses. Furthermore, ECB members are set to speak today, but their statements will hardly have a severe impact in market sentiment. The focus of traders will most likely be on statistics from the United States. U.S. non-farm payrolls are forecast to increase by 185,000 in January, following December's increase of 223,000. The unemployment rate is seen rising to 3.6% from 3.5% in December. This may also back the euro up, allowing it to recoup early losses against the US dollar. Besides, traders may take notice of the ISM's non-manufacturing PMI. The indicator is anticipated to stand at 50.4 versus 49.6 a month earlier. This, in turn, may drive the green back up. And now let's move on to technical analysis. According to the one-hour Euro-American dollar chart, a false breakout at 1.0889 amid upbeat data from the euro area will make it possible to go long, counting on an advance to 1.0921. If the price consolidates above this level and tests it from the top down, it will most likely rise to 1.0946. Moreover, the euro may well jump to 1.0972 and even 1.1001, following the release of US non-farm payrolls data. At these levels, I recommend going short on a rebound with a view to catching an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. If the price forms a false breakout at 1.0921 or 1.0946, a sell signal will be generated. Besides, short positions will be relevant if the euro breaks through and fixes below 1.0889, way down by downbeat statistics from the block. In this case, the European currency is likely to slide to 1.0855. At this mark, it would be a wise decision to go long amid a false breakout. Long positions on a rebound can be considered at 1.0827 and 1.0804 in the hope of, a make, of making profits of, on an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. 
Speaking of the British currency, the situation is similar. If data on UK services activity proves to be weak, the pound sterling will most likely dip to 1.2194 or even 1.2152. A false breakout at these levels will create a buy signal. Long positions on a rebound will be relevant at 1.2093. In this case, one can count on an intraday correction of 35-40 pips. If bulls regain control of 1.2239, its top-down test will make it possible to open additional long positions. Thus, the British pound will edge up to 1.2284 and probably 1.2332. At these marks, traders are recommended to go short on a rebound. A false breakout at 1.2239 in the first half of the day will also lead to an increase in the volume of short positions. Once again, if the price settles below 1.2194, the pound sterling will suffer heavy loss.